This review is brought to you by DwayneWright.com, FileMaker Framework Solutions, virtual one-on-one FileMaker training, consulting, and custom design services. For more information, please visit www.DwayneWright.com. In this movie, what our goal will be is to create a single calculation field that looks at every record that it's related to, counts just the unique instances of those related records, and sorts a little text list by the related items, but again with no duplicates. So to uh, predicate this example, what we got is a widgets table and a color sales. So the color sales is every time a widget was sold. So you can see here we have one widget record and we have 150 records that are related to that widget, but they're sales of different colors. So there may be uh, you know, 25 reds, 13 greens, and so on and so forth. So what we're wanting to do is our end goal is in the widget layout, see just the color scales like red, green, and blue, and just see the totals of 12, 15, 29, whatever they happen to be. So this is a window into the color sales. See that right down there? And this is one into the widgets. So two things that we ended up using this as well, two custom functions. Uh, the first one called CF Tab by um, Michelle Olson. Again, these are from the Brian Dennings website. It's uh, custom function number 570. And Dedupe by Rob Westergaard. I hope that's right. And uh, it's a custom function ID 186. So, as we get back to it. So our end goal is these 150 records and different colors and numbers. We want to get this. You know, a listing ranked by the numbers of what their repetitions happen to be. Now, let's just work backwards. So this is what we got so far. Now, working backwards, the very next thing we had is this list. So if we take a look at widgets, list the list function gives us a list of all our related values. So that gives us more than what we need. Then we run that custom function called dedupe by it, and that takes out our duplicates. The combined elements, if we go back to our uh, color sales, you can see here that we do have a calculation that counts how many of its self-related values it has. So it's the color sales is doing a reciprocal count right here saying hey are you the same color as me and the, and the same widget number? Yes, yeah, so I'll go ahead and count you. So it just counts how many repetitions it has within itself. And then that is brought into a regular text field. That is brought over into widgets and deduped. And then the other thing to get the ranking by largest to smallest, we just change the relationship here and do a sort by the count of the related. So that way the, the numbers are automatically sorted at the top. So our relationship does our sorting for us there. And that is always the case when using the list function. Generally, when you work with portals, you keep the sorting in the portals and not in the relationships. But, and you don't want it in both because really sorting relationships can slow things down a bit. But that's really about it if we just take a look at the calculation real quick. Um, we just dedupe this list. This list just you know grabs the color sales color count that is from this table. The color sales color count is right here. And that just combines the the widget color and then our two custom functions to put tabs in between so they're nice and ordered when we go ahead and give the uh, count of related records as they go across. So that's pretty much it. Do you have questions or comments about the video you just saw? Please feel free to email me at info at Thank you.